Hi everyone, welcome back to the Celebrity Status Channel. Please like and subscribe. Little People, Big World Star Matt Roloff worked really hard to make his farms what it is in today's time. He purchased the land in 1980s, and it is now a pumpkin farm of over 100 acres. Initially, Matt wanted his sons to carry on the legacy and take care of the farm after his retirement. But he refused to let them inherit it and placed a price for them to buy it off them. Indeed, through the show, Fans found out how he wasn't able to sell his farm to his sons, Jeremy and Zach. Sadly, it caused a fight and to this day the twins share an estranged bond with him. In fact, after wanting to sell the farm for $4 million Matt had decided to turn it on to a short-term rental. Shockingly, the latest update says that the star wants to sell the property once again at a lesser price. Matt wanted to sell 16 acres out of 106 acres including the big house where all the Roloffs grew up. Well, he did so in 2022 and quickly scraped the idea only to turn it into a short-term rental so more people could enjoy the farm. However, as per the latest updates, Matt is trying to sell the same portion once again. Apparently, his big house is spread across 8,968 square feet, with 6 bathrooms and 5 bedrooms. Earlier, fans could the rent the property via a Airbnb, but now the star wishes to sell his farmland for $3.3 million by taking down the earlier price by $700k. So far, Matt has not yet made an official announcement regarding it. The infamous boat, Red Barn, and Molly's Castle will most probably be included in the reselling just like the last time. Yet, many fans are eagerly waiting for Matt to make an announcement to know for sure. Previously, in May 2022, Matt had finally made an announcement about selling 16 acres of his farms for $4 million. Unfortunately, the star and some realtors revealed that they having a hard time selling owing to various reasons. One of them was how fans had already seen the property for many years on the show. Moreover, Matt mentioned how no one was interested in buying the property for a long term. However, many of the prospective buyers shared the idea of purchasing the big house from Matt and turning it into a short-term rental. So, the long-time LPBW fans got the opportunity to live in the property they had seen on their screens for many years. The property as a rental could support 16 guests at the price of $1,280 per night. Matt decided to take it upon himself and gave rise to a new business venture. But it had just been five months since the news about him reselling the land came in the limelight. On other hand, after this revelation, several fans wondered if Matt's vacation rental business tanked. That's because Matt had announced via his social media a few months ago that the rental business was going well. In fact, fans had booked the property for more than half of this year. Therefore, the star's intention to resell isn't making sense to his fans. So, they are now waiting for an official confirmation from Matt to understand why he took this decision to resell. Indeed, Matt allegedly took this decision with a heavy heart when his sons Jeremy and Zach couldn't buy it previously. Amy even got upset at her ex-husband for not letting their kids carry on the Roloff legacy. 